tonight, Coin6 is digging deeper after learning some landlords have actually been left out of Oregon's million dollar compensation fund, $150 million here. This was made to keep thousands from getting evicted when the eviction moratorium expires. Yeah, Lindsay Nadrich investigated this today. And what, Lindsay, you found out about more changes to these rules? Yeah, the landlord compensation fund is being distributed in three rounds. For the first two rounds, help is only available to current tenants who are behind on rent. So this doesn't include former tenants who have since moved out but still owe money. We just learned, though, that's changing for round three. We have a lot of residents out there suffering. Multifamily Northwest Executive Director Deborah Imsey says not including former tenants in the first two rounds leaves out a huge number of people who need help. In a survey they did last month, 38 landlords reported that out of a total of 13,000 units, 426 people moved out, owing roughly $1.1 million in unpaid rent. If you apply that to all rentals, they estimate former tenants have left landlords across the state with $50 million in unpaid rent just from vacated units. MZ says this group shouldn't be disqualified from getting state help because some may have moved out to avoid racking up even more unpaid rent. So they're trying to make you know responsible decisions based on what the circumstances in their lives are right now. What is heartbreaking is many of those folks eventually may have qualified for some type of rental assistance. After hearing concerns like this, Representative Pam Marsh says they decided to change the rules for round three to include former tenants. We'll be open to situations in which a tenant has moved out of a home, um, is still accessible, still willing to sign over a declaration form um, and to be and provide an address. Round three is expected to open in June. Some worry by then there won't be enough money left for everyone who needs it. But Representative Marsh is cautiously optimistic there will be. While well, landlords who applied in the first round are still waiting for those funds to be distributed. And today I learned that could take another four to eight weeks. So there's also some frustration that this money just isn't getting out as quickly as it's needed. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterch, Point Six News.